So on today's video on Kitchen Yetu, I'll be showing you how to make a whole fried snapper fish. Come on in, let's get started. So here I have the whole fish, snapper fish, fresh from the farmer's market. I already washed it, cleaned it with vinegar and some lime. And now I'm just taking out this little bone right here. I already put it dry and I am creating a deep slit on. Now this is just to ensure that the spices go in really, really well. So I'm just going to do that um, right here and then I'm going to turn it over to the other side and do the same thing and so i have two whole ones it's really big this fish is really big so we're gonna go ahead and season it really really well so this is how it looks i know some people are scared of having like a whole fish with the head on but don't worry about that it's gonna cook it's gonna look good or you can just cut off the head or have the people at the farmer's market cut it off they actually can do that for you but i just chose to have the whole entire fish just like that so what i added there right there is some garlic powder then i went in with some paprika and then i'm gonna go in with some old base seasoning and we're gonna keep this very very simple there i'm using some chicken bully yarn and i'm just going to put it all over and i'm also going to use some sazon seasoning um, do the same thing make sure that you actually capture even the inside cavity of the fish as well and uh, do the same thing garlic powder paprika and some chicken bouillon and then we're going to add some sazon later on yeah i put on my gloves i'm ready to go and i'm rubbing all the seasoning you know going through the slates and everything and now time to put that sazon that's the goya type brand uh this one has some salt in it and of course the chicken bouillon also contains some sodium so you have plenty of seasoning so you don't have to add some actual salt to this fish because that takes care of that so the sazon really i'm using it to just give it a nice color and of course it has other key ingredients in there like black pepper garlic and salt and it's um you know really really tasty when you put it so i'm just gonna make sure that my seasoning is all over this fish inside the cavity don't be afraid to season your fish really really well so i'm gonna go in with some uh, parsley flakes as well i just decided to add that last minute you know tr trying to be creative in this kitchen and i know it's gonna taste good i've tried this before so i know it's gonna be really really good so right y'all so we are done look how beautiful this fish looks like even before frying but we're going to take it to another notch what i'm going to do is get some flour just your all-purpose flour and i haven't put anything yet on it but i'm going to put some adobo seasoning onto it and i'm sorry my camera i'm not sure how it shifted to this angle but please bear with me sometimes these things happen but let's go back to the cooking so what we're going to do is just uh, lightly flour uh, the fish so there i'm adding onto the all-purpose flour we're going to add some adobo seasoning that's it um, and then just going to mix it real good and we're going to dip the fish onto it and then off we go to fry it So now that the flour is well seasoned with the adobo seasoning, I'm just going to grab my fish that I already seasoned as well and just lightly coat it all over. Just make sure that it's um, coated with this flour mixture. Now, this is just to ensure that when we fry the fish, it's going to be uh, crispy on the outside and also very tender and moist 
on the inside and that's what we're going for so just lightly add the flour even inside it and once we fry it i promise you guys it's gonna be so crispy you're gonna enjoy this and of course just shake off any excess uh, flour that you put on and i'm i just have a wire rack on the side as you can see and i'm just gonna leave it there for now um, and then do the other fish as well now in the meanwhile i do have uh my oil on the stove going to bring it to 350 degrees um just add enough oil to season your thing and uh yeah let's get it started so i'm doing the the, the second fish and then we're going to move on to frying the fish on to the stove area i already have my oil hot and I'm now going to deep fry this snapper fish. Who you guys, I'm telling you, this is so exciting. I hope you get to try this recipe. I'm actually going to add the ingredients, the exact measurement that I used for this recipe on the description box under this video you will find it there look how gorgeous this thing looks and it actually has this wonderful aroma you know when you fry fish i mean i'm seeing this as a fish friday and of course today is friday so i'm definitely going to enjoy this fish with probably fish and chips or maybe on a side of white coconut jasmine you know let it fry and um you know turn it um once it fries and once it's done it will look something like this look how gorgeous this fish is like really and now i'm just thinking of just adding some vegetables to it you know just nice vegetables and probably eat it with rice look how beautiful this fish is so i put in um, a rack there so that the excess oil can drip off as well and now we are done really we are done that's how simple it is once you fry it add some veggies of your choice add some lemon make it look nice make it look nice and this is the end result now remember to just turn it and leave it on the cool rack so that it can drip off any excess oil and we are done i decided to just add some lemon pieces on top add a few uh, vegetables i just simply fried um, made some onions and some bell peppers and and add some seasoning and just threw it on all over it and uh, hope you like this video if you did give it a quick thumbs up if you're new here please consider to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will notify you next time we upload thank you so much i will see you on the next video